I'm Phil. Welcome to Pretty Good Commercials. Today we're gonna review this knife. It was sent to us by Kuma. Kuma is a family run business on Amazon. I don't think you can buy their, their shit anywhere else. It means bear in Japanese. So this is the packaging it came in. A little nice, little nice bag. Like many sharp instruments, it requires another sharp instrument in order to open, which I, uh, I guess that's intentional. So I can bust this open. Oh, <laughs> that was easy. This apparently comes with a warranty, which you can see here. I wonder, wonder what that warranty is. Ah, yes, on the back there's uh, talking points, which I will not go over, I don't think. Use the front of the knife to slice. Well, that makes sense. Okay, what the f ever, it's a knife. Um, the first thing that I noticed about this knife is this incredibly light. That's actually, maybe if you're um, a, a wimp or of not great stature, such as myself, you might need a knife. Yes, please. Please get my whole stature in the frame. Thank you. You might need a knife that is good for your your wimpy life, but for me this actually is a little bit concerning because I would be worried that I'd just be like, I'm just chopping around, just throwing it around. Whereas something like uh, my Wusthof Grand Prix 2 uh, is like at least twice the weight for roughly the same knife. I seriously doubt Kuma wants me to compare these two knives considering they're in completely different price ranges. The Wustop knife is clearly better. In terms of a handle, it feels okay. That's definitely solid construction. I like I like how well together, well put together the handle is. Um, it feels just maybe a tiny bit short for my hand, but if you're doing a proper, proper knife grip, you'll be holding it kind of in a pincer grip like I am, so that's okay. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to tell you because like basically the first time you use a knife is going to be like the best time you use a knife. It's all going to go downhill from there. So what I do want to do is give you some actual constructive uh, instructional shit to accompany this obvious commercial um, so that if you are one of our loyal viewers who doesn't give a shit about products, you could actually learn something. demoing the knife today on this aged pineapple. You can tell it's aged by the uh, general brownness of the top. Pineapples are uh, sometimes intimidating fruit for people to chop up because they got an unpleasant exterior and they have a core which is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, you can see by this pineapple that there's some mold on the bottom. Um, it's kind of reddish, orangish, yellowish, brownish. It's clearly old. That's all right. That means it's extra ripe. You're not gonna eat the f moldy part anyway, so. First things first, I like to remove the top and the bottom, and you can do this as close or as far away from the bottom as you want, but you don't wanna waste too much. So you can see I've removed, oh, that's good. Nice brown spot. I've removed, what is that, like a half inch or so from each. Um, if your top did not look like shit like this one, and you were making a fruit plate, you could reserve this part and use it as like a centerpiece and arrange food around that, people like that. But ours looks like ass. Next we are going to split it down the core, like so. And you can see inside, that's that's all good pineapple. No worries. Knife feels good. Um, it is a new knife, and even the shittiest knives cut well the first time. What you pay for with nicer knives is like the longevity of the blade, how often you're gonna have to sharpen it. But, you know, cheap knives serve their purpose. This is actually, I think I would classify this as like a, uh, mid-range, maybe low to mid-range. Um, it's very affordable, uh, so if you wanted a knife that like will be good for at least for a while, maybe this is the knife for you. However, we're only going to use this once, and I'm not even going to keep it, I'm going to give it to John. So I can't really speak to the longevity of this knife. So okay, so for our pineapple, you can see we need to remove this rind. Um, if you have a pineapple coring tool, it will do this for you. However, that is a novelty item which is not worth keeping around. You can do the same thing yourself, just with a knife. If you are, in fact, a seller of these pineapple coring devices and would like us to review it or compare it against this particular knife in terms of effectiveness for coring pineapples, please let us know. We may be able to arrange something. So, you can see that the pineapple is not a straight line, it's kind of rounded. If you are bad with knives, you could do a straight cut to remove some of the skin, but you're gonna lose a lot of pineapple doing that. So the best option is actually to use a series of angled cuts. See how I'm at an angle? And you can actually work the knife, so that's the angle, 
Then I'm gonna make it straight. See how we're going? Okay. Then we'll work our way down. And we can angle it back in at the bottom. And you end up with a rounded cut. Now if you didn't cut enough to remove some of these spots, you can clean them up later with just a shallow series of cuts. But don't really worry about that too much because you know that's just that's just pineapple. Now that we've done we've started that side, we're gonna angle again here. This is almost like a 45 degree angle from our original cut. So this is 45 degree rotation, but it's also a diagonal cut. And you can do it in strips, depending on how much how much pineapple you're trying to save, or if you don't care, you can do deeper cuts and remove all of these little little holes. But a little bit of holes isn't gonna bother anyone, unless you're like serving this at a restaurant or something, and clearly someone will complain. But otherwise, you're just a home cook, and you made some pine you chopped some pineapple for your friends or family, and they can suck it up. So you see this, this is a series of cuts. You've got your initial run of the mill cuts and then you can do some cleaning cuts as well. So we'll keep working our way around the pineapple. In terms of sharpness or effectiveness, this knife seems just fine. It doesn't make me nervous to use it, in this context at least. We can see we have half a pineapple no skin, but plenty of dots. I don't know what the f those dots are called. Nor do I care to learn. I think that's extraneous information. I think even if someone told me, like if someone wrote it in a YouTube comment, I would read it and immediately file that in the trash. I actually might just remove the comment from YouTube so nobody knows. We'll see how I'm feeling. Most likely I'll forget I even said that. All right, okay, so we have our half a pineapple and you can feel down the center, that's the core. And the core goes, you can see right, it's basically this brown spot. That's the core at half moon. So so what most people will do is a diagonal cut around where the core starts, or they might do a straight cut, depends. Uh, and then another one on the other side, and you're doing these not all the way through, but just basically along the core. And then you can do one more cut by rotating your knife, or if it's super right, it might just break. But there's your core. I cut it out in a triangle-ish, well I guess that's a bizarre trapezoid. Is it a rhombus or a trapezoid? Which one is the one with parallel sides? That's a parallelogram. Okay, at this point you have a couple of options for serving. Um, some people like to do spears. So that's just thin slices like this. Wow, and then you put that on a plate and people munch it. Alternatively, you can do chunks. I suggest thick cuts, kind of like that. And then you just work your way through the pineapple. And if you're getting any kind of resistance while chopping the pineapple, it means that you didn't get all the core out. But as you can see, uh, it's pretty easy. I mean, anyone with basic knowledge of this video could probably replicate it without hurting themselves too badly. You get a little bit of blood on the pineapple, just wash it off. Uh, pineapple contains a kind of acid that will digest your skin, so make sure that you wash your, uh, maybe it's your stomach lining. I don't know. There's some kind of like digestive acid shit in pineapple. And if you if you put it in your mouth, it tingles because the pineapple's trying to eat you. So you teach that pineapple a lesson that you're at the top of the food chain and uh, enjoy. Mm. Ripe pineapple is really good. It's like extra sweet. So that's how you do it with a kuma knife. I rate it a decent product. Um, whatever they're charging, which I think is like the thirty to sixty dollar range, probably probably worth it. Can't speak to the longevity though. So uh, I'll link in the description where you can view this product and buy it for one. I guess that's all I gotta say about that. So, adios.